What up YouTube, Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech with another video. Uh, this one is in response to kind of what's been brewing over the course of the last few weeks. Uh, now this does date back several weeks, but in the last couple of days, there has been a lot of action in terms of the media, and it looks like the carriers are kind of bickering. Now this is, it's, it's actually kind of childish. It's been going on for a long time. It's not new. The carriers always talk smack to each other back and forth. And actually, to be truthful, it's mostly T-Mobile throwing the jabs at Verizon, at AT&T, and then at Sprint. And more, most specifically in the past, it's been T-Mobile and AT&T. I think this stems from the fact that John Leisure has worked for AT&T in the past. He was a very prominent executive for a long time until he became the CEO of T-Mobile. Um, then he's kind of, you know... As his network has improved, as his company stake has improved, he's shifted his focus to Verizon as well. But anyways, uh, what I want to mention is all this talk about 5G, and it is a huge deal. In terms of the cellular carrier networks, it is a big deal, but it's not close to being finalized. Now, it's it's close in terms of you know the development and, and the installation of the hardware and the, the technology is improving very quickly. Uh, we basically, you know, have now a framework of what's going to be the standard for 5G network, uh, but it's not necessarily close to being finalized. So bits and pieces of information have been coming out about the technology, about the standards, and what's being left to decide is who's going to be rolling it out first. That's always the thing. Which network is going to have it and who's going to capitalize on it? Now, for those of you that don't know, there's a certain set of requirements that 5G is going to have, and there's a certain type of equipment and protocol that has to be followed to deploy it. So, fear not. The first big players in the U.S. for 4G LTE was AT&T and Verizon. Um, that actually had a reliable 4G LTE network. So, expect the same thing. I'm not going to sit here and speculate and say T-Mobile is going to have the first 5G ready network and it's going to be the strongest network. That's probably not going to happen and I'm going to tell you why. To get things started, T-Mobile was kind of the, they're the youngest company in the US. They kind of were dragging their feet in terms of network upgrades. They've been dragging their feet in spectrum acquisition and it's not their fault. They just haven't had the spending dollars to do so. They've been playing catch-up. How could we expect T-Mobile to then be the first company to deploy a large-scale 5G network? But of course, every network is saying that they're going to be the first one of 5G. So two days ago, AT&T you know, send out, sends out this blurb. Uh, people start having this buzz. Oh, at and is ready to deploy their 5G network. Not even close. They won't be ready for another two or even three years. Verizon has said this already. They know that they're implementing uh, the system. They're starting to develop their technologies. Things, you know, for their plan are starting to uh, actually solidify, but they're not close. They know they're a couple years away. So here's T-Mobile doing some of the same. They're just hyping it up, and they're doing it because they want their name associated with the 5G enhancements. So, you know, here's an example, and this is on Android Central. Uh, T-Mobile responds to AT&T. AT&T is the one responding from Verizon. They're all doing the same thing, and it's all just a bunch of buzz. They just don't want people to think that one network is going to uh, outcompete the other. So they want to make sure they keep their name relevant to the technology. Now, if you want my opinion, and this is just clearly speculation, I don't think T-Mobile is going to be ready to roll out a true 5G network in 2020, as T-Mobile states. The reason for that is... They just acquired somewhere between 8 and $10 billion in 600 megahertz spectrum, which they plan on you know, deploying and using over the course of the next three years. If they're going to be doing this over the course of the next two or three years, how will their 5G network be ready? So without any hesitation, it's pretty clear T-Mobile has a lot of time they're going to require to not only fully deploy a strong 4G LTE network, which is why they bought the Spectrum, but then also utilize it for their new 5G uh, network. So they've got a lot to do, a lot of work. I'd say Verizon is more ready for the move. I would say AT&T is more ready for the move. 
But again, like I said, this is all speculation. They're just trying to create buzz and they want to make it appear as if the, each company is going to be the first one with a true 5G full deployment. And honestly, in 2017, today is May 2nd. No one's even close to it. It's going to take time. The standard is not finalized. The equipment has not all been purchased. There's just a lot to do. So this is clearly uh, just a bunch of hype. And if you buy into hype, then that's on you. But my recommendation is to just hang tight, play the waiting game. Let's see where 5G development is in 2018. That's all I got for you guys right now. Thanks for watching the video. If you could, please subscribe to the channel so you can get all your updates. Like the video, share the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.